Hello friends, in this video we will see what are maximal and minimal elements of a partially ordered set. In another words, when an element is called a maximal element or a minimal element. Let's see. Okay, suppose the power set that we are considering is S, R. S is the set and R is a partially ordered relation on the set S. Okay, now an element A of the power set S, R is called maximal if there is no element B belonging to the set S such that A is related to B. So A is maximal when there is no B belongs to S such that A related to B. Alright. Now A related to B and B related to A we know are different. Right. Now we see an element A is called minimal if there is no B belongs to set S such that B is related to A. So an element A of the poset S, R is said to be minimal if there is no element B such that B is related to A. And one thing to be noted is that there can be more than one maximal element and more than one minimal element. Alright. Maximal and minimal elements are easy to spot using a Hasse diagram. So we have seen how to represent a partially ordered set using a Hasse diagram. Now the maximal and minimal elements are the top and bottom elements in the diagram respectively. Let's see a question. Which elements of the power set set S is here 2, 4, 5, 10, 12, 20, 25 and the relation R is a divides relation. Okay. So, which elements of this power set are maximal and minimal? So, here is the Hasse diagram representation for this power set. As we have already seen how to represent a power set using a Hasse diagram, I am not explaining the steps here. So, here the elements 12, 20 and 25 are the maximal elements. As we can see, there is no element B belonging to the set S such that 12, comma B, 20, comma B and 25, comma B are not there in the relation. In other words, 12 is not related to any B, 20 is not related to any B and 25 is not related to any B belonging to the set S. Now, the minimal elements are the elements 2 and 5 because they are minimal because there is no B belongs to the set S such that B is related to 2 and B is related to 5. Alright, that's why 2 and 5 are the minimal elements. Now let's see what is a greatest and least element of the partially ordered set. Sometimes there is an element in the power set that is greater than every other element. Such an element is called the greatest element. So now the element A is the greatest element of the partially ordered set S, R if B is related to A for all B belong to the set S. Greatest element is unique if it exists. Likewise, an element is called the least element if it is less than all other elements in the power set. Now, when we see greater and lesser, it means with respect to the relation that we are defining in the power set. Alright, now A is the least element of the power set S, R if A is related to B for all the B belonging to the set S. Least element is also unique if it exists. So, let's prove that the greatest element is unique. So the theorem says that let S, R be a power set. If S has a greatest element, then it can have only one. Alright, let's prove it. So we prove by contradiction. Suppose not. Okay. Suppose there are more than one greatest element. Say so let's say there are two greatest elements A and B. Now A and B are the greatest elements of the power set S, R. Now from the definitions, it implies that for all X belong to the set S, x is related to a because a is the greatest element now since b is greatest element for all x belongs to set s x is related to b from these two statements we get that a has to be related to b and b has to be related to a now since s comma r is a power set partially ordered set r is a partial order relation it means that r is also anti-symmetric right now anti-symmetric means Whenever A related to B and B related to A, which implies that A equal to B. So the same happened here. Here we get that A related to B and B related to A 
when we considered that both a and b are the greatest elements right so it has to be the case that there is only one greatest element that's what it implies from our proof all right hence we proved the statement that there is only one greatest element if it exists now in a similar manner we can prove that the least element is also unique if it exists let's take a question here the question is is there a greatest and least element in the power set set plus comma divides the set is the set of positive integers and the relation is the divides relation so we can say that one is the least element here one is the least element because one divides n whenever n is a positive integer right because one divides every positive integer one is related to b for all b belong to set plus that's why one is the least element now if you see there is no integer that is divisible by all positive integers and hence there is no greatest element here but only a least element that is one so here is another question this is a partially ordered set represented using a hasse diagram we have to find the greatest and least element the greatest element as we can see is the element d because any element you take a b or c and d itself we can see that every element is related to the element d here and that's why greatest element is d and least element is a because a is related to every element in this set a is related to a a is related to b a is related to c and a is related to d and hence the least element is a now from this hasse diagram we can see that d is the greatest element because you take any element a b c and d they are all related to the element d and hence d is the greatest element and we can see that there is no least element here now in this hasse diagram we can see that there is no least and greatest element so with that we conclude this video in the next video we will see about lattices Oh, 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 oh,